What is up everyone? So uh, today we have to build the second lift, right? I've been putting this off for a few days. The four post kind of kicked my ass, but today I'm sucking it up and we are building our new Benpack Grand Prix 7, GP7. I think that's the, I think that's the name. It's going to be fast. What, what makes that fast? That whole name sounded like it was fast. It does sound fast, <laughs> yes. We have the race lift. So, I got a lot of comments actually making fun of me because they're like, you have a lift now and you never use it. Why put another one up? That <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the whole reason here, right? So, uh, cars end up just getting stuck on this main lift right here. Uh, I would say like long-term projects get stuck on it. And then we, when we do simple jobs, it's like, ah, oh, like it's not even worth taking off. So this is what this one's for. This is now the short-term lift. Simple jobs. All right, so that's basically what this lift is. And uh, well, we have mapped out a location for it. But before we share it, let's get it unpacked. Let's get the post, stand it up. We'll wiggle it around and see how it fits in the shop. Let's get to it. Drop it. It's like I'm talking to Tucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop it. My Drop hair. it. My finger. <laughs> All right, so we got it measured out and in place, and honestly, I love the footprint of this lift. Look how small it is. It literally it feels like it takes up no room. Look at it. <laughs> the difference in sizing, but this does go up higher, which is awesome. So, I mean, what's nice about this is obviously um, we have it wider, so it's easier to get in and out of the car when it's on the lift, but man, you can't beat the footprint of this thing. I don't see footprints anywhere. As you guys can see, we put the lift right here. The shop is pretty big, right? So we have a million and a half options of where to put the lifts. And we put way too much salt into this. It'll make way more sense over time, but we figured out this would be the best location. Cell phone out, cell phone out, hard at work. All right, so every lift that I've ever installed, the hydraulic cylinder is actually, well, there's one in each post, right? And then they like kind of use some cables and everything pulls itself up. With this, the hydraulic cylinder is actually just in top post itself. So we have one and then a bunch of cables do their thing and they pick it all up and we're good to go. So usually I start off by putting this thing on first and running the cables. I don't know if that's the most efficient way of doing it this time, but that's what we're gonna do and cross our fingers, so. RJ, start your engine. I'm RJ's apprentice today. He's showing me the road. Oh! A little bit more, a little more. Now bring it down real slow, like. Looks pretty dope. I bet you'll get dizzy before I will. <laughs> You've seen that, but not Goodfellas. Goodfellas, I don't care. It's probably not even a good movie. Good is in the name. <laughs> so I just do the locks real quick. So we actually have to get where the feet attach to be risen so we can get the cables underneath them. So this way, when we jack them up, it gets caught on the lock and it holds up by itself. So, yes. We're good off camera. Rare. <laughs> Look at that. They're up. All right, so totally didn't have to do that because the cables don't go underneath them like this style. The cables attach up here. So if anything, we just made it harder for ourselves. Love that. So uh, that's what we're gonna do next, right? I think we're gonna run the cables, right? So we have two cables on each, right? So we have a cable that loops down, loops down, and then loops down and over, down and over. You know, something like that. It makes no sense to you guys, I'm sorry. Let's get the cables going, boys. Let's get to work. Let's throw it up. Nice. All right, check it out. I'm gonna extend this, we can start wrapping the cables around it. Should be able to extend it by just putting air right here. Get out there. And we're good. All right, so hopefully this gives you guys a better idea. So there's two, there's four cables, right? There's two shorts too long, so two short ones, they kind of bolt right here, wrap around the cylinder, go down and go straight to the base of the arms. So we just ran them like that. It looks like the next cable is we gotta do that. Go all the way down. Oh, going over here for the, just in case. Nice work. Wow, that was a good one. A few moments later. The cables are rooted. I got Donnie now, how the hell do you film? Situated the here. after I finish them. So now we're just tightening the bolts here. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot easier to set the style up than like the dual piston type. 
This has been pretty good so far. So just like the four posts, right, we have the cable ones and they're adjustable, of course, because uh, to make up for slack, right? Stick them right here, boom, bang. Tighten them up, we're good to go. Boom. Put all the cables halfway so we have room for adjustment. Should be good to go. Looks like I rooted everything correctly. Let me yeah. see that thing. That's fast. Boom. Hey, this looks official. So, just a typical Ranger 220 pump. Anything, you guys want to add anything to that? I ain't never seen them. A good one, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, so we got our power unit right here. So all this mounts by is two holes. It doesn't use the typical bracket right here, like most lifts where, you know, you have four holes and a bracket that's welded onto the lift that it bolts to. It has two holes here that actually threads all the way through into the unit. And that's it, that's how it's held up. So that definitely threw us for a loop because we were expecting to bolt it on here, but uh, we figured it out. Threw us through a little loop-de-loop, -loop, but <laughs> wait, what's this, James? This looks important. Nope, we don't need it. Junk. Don't scratch it. Don't scratch it. <laughs> Come through this side. Line that up, boys. Almost there. A little down. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly surprised it's only those two bolts. It's not really what I was expecting, but, you know, it's on there. So if it's on there, it's on there. It's not like this thing moves around. So cool, pump's on. Let's run the hydraulic lines. One fitting here and then one right here. In terms of ease of use, I freaking love this feature. And while the hydraulic lines are metal and they ran on, and they ran on the outside of the lift, because usually you're snaking the rubber line through here, busting up your fingers, trying to get them on all the uh, shocks and stuff. So it makes life a lot easier. So what we have is, wow. So much more convenient. And it doesn't look like, it looks nice too, you know? Oh yeah, and then there's like little clips up there for it, right? Mm -hmm. To hold it. So I think it's a good look, honestly. It's a look. I, I'm a big fan of like the single piston lift thing because- On the top. Yeah, it's so, much, on it's the side. so much easier. Love that. Look how tidy that looks. Yeah, it looks good, you yeah. know? Clean. Looking pretty legit. Actually looks kind of, it's like kind of cool seeing it just cause it's like polished and whatnot. It kind of makes it look fancy. Right, Donnie? Looks great. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you be risky. You're not like afraid to fall over a ton? Or you don't care? Are you almost done? Getting there. So one of the last things we have to do now, uh, up top piece leases, we have to run the cable for the lock. So basically what this does is it loops around this piece right here, shoots up, hits a pulley, hits a pulley, shoots down to the lock, and basically it's just a mechanical lock to release, well, the locks. Correct. Pulley one, pulley two, number three, and number four. Nice. Threw the cover on. Looks pretty good. What do you think, Donnie? Ship it. It's starting to get there. Not too bad, it's pretty tedious per usual. But now we could throw the arms on, right? This will make it look like a lift, so I'm pretty excited for this one. And Mr. B-Hall. What's up? What do you think of the lift? It's crazy how skinny it is, huh? Yeah, I love it. You know, it looks like a normal post size, but I still can't believe how tall they are. No, it's ridiculous. I've never, like, I've worked in many shops. Mm -hmm. I've never seen an extra tall lift. One is taller than the average lift, but also is skinnier, so it just makes it look even more dramatic. But it's funny that your ceiling still somehow, like, dwarf them. It's so big in here. It's, oh, it's ridiculous. My God, your heat bill must be horrible. It sucks. <laughs> here we go. Gotta do the stuff Come on, on baby. Set. Come on, baby. There we go. Get it in there. Yeah, James. Yep. Donnie, what is going on here, guys? I'm guy? moving it every which way possible. What do you mean? <laughs> there we go. There nice work. Oh. <laughs> Drop. Drop. Nice. All right, the legs are on. It's fully set up. Now, the last thing it needs is electrical, right? I need to put some hydraulic fluid in it, and it needs to be bolted down. Uh, electrical, we're kind of getting all the equipment set up right now, so we can kind of get all the electrical stuff done at once. Uh, which would be really, you know, a lot more convenient. Yeah, it's a lot smarter. Exactly, so. You just got a new compressor, one lift, two lifts, this machine. lift might move, maybe not, tire machine, yeah, so. 
Makes sense to do it all in one shot. I had to bolt it down. And well, we we're gonna do that today, but you know, Ant forgot the drill. Ant was Ant was supposed to bring the drill and he forgot it. He slept. Ant, where are you? Ant, where's the drill, kid? <laughs> oh, oh my. So we'll, we'll put the studs in tomorrow, but we have it all measured out so it's exactly where it needs to be and this is where the lift is going to be. So take it in, judge it what you want, but you'll see this is going to be a perfect location for it and I'm super excited and I keep going on and on about how skinny the thing is and so tall it is, but honestly it's pretty cool. I can't wait to have a car up on it so you guys can see and what I can see how high it actually goes and um, yeah, honestly I kind of wish my other lift was this tiny. Uh, the footprint is just so freaking small, but uh, Ben Pack? GP7, huge fan. The install was way, way easier than before. I wasn't crushing my fingers trying to shove fittings in the bottom and stuff. I love the horizontal uh, piston, really cool. Any thoughts on it? I think it's a, a tidy package. I, I still can't believe how tall they are. Before I leave you for tonight, what I've been dying to do and I feel like I need to do on camera is, I gotta test fit another set of wheels on the 33. Oh man, finally. Yeah, right? You're so, doing that? Yeah, because I, I had to do on camera, right? I can't rob them of this experience. They need to see it, they need to see <laughs> it. They need to feel it, and they need to see it. All right, so I have a full set of Kanze tandems. I've had them for a really long time. We made RJ put them on his car for a while just because, well, RJ needed some some sauce and well, he had them on there, but it's winter time. He's got the winter wheels on. And so these are back. I threw some stretch tires on them. And well, I think all I think all of us here have been dying to see these things test on the 33 since I got it. So here it is. Yeah, tell them about the wheels real quick. The Conseys. What do they want to know? Tell them the specs. Specs, the, name, the tire. What do you think about them? A little review on the wheel itself. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So these are a Conse Tano, if you didn't know, and sleeping. Uh, 18 by nine and a half plus 22 gunmetal finish. We stretched a 21540 on it because. Well, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. I would say these are very close look to the R34 GTR wheel, which is really dope. So I think it'd be pretty fitting for a 33. Take that. Oh, there's, I forgot there's a big ass spacer on the front. Oh, man. Yeah, screw it. Let's see how it looks at the spacer. Those go. Those go. All right, spacer definitely needs to come off, but should we just lower it on this aggressive unit? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. See yeah. what it looks like. Hopefully I don't. My I think you need the spacer personally. No, dude, that's that's a little excessive. Look at that. Well, that's she's got, not dumped, right? That's got that poke poke. Oh my god. Dude, camber. Hold on. <laughs> that's how I'd solve my problem. <laughs> Look at the poke on that thing. Mind you, this is an inch spacer. No. I actually it ate it pretty well. Okay, maybe if I added a bunch of camber, but that's pretty hard with the gold. That works too well, I feel like. Show them, don't show my face, show them the wheel. Well, I'm trying to get your, you what, gotta, what you on, think. Oh, you gotta stop shaking. So, hold on, I gotta apologize, guys, real quick. Uh, the stability on the camera, so this camera's been dropped way too many times, and I think the stability control kind of shit the bed, so the cam the videos have been really shaky lately. I apologize, but another camera just isn't in yet. Especially when I record. <laughs> I'm an extra shaky. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Finally got the shakes. Get okay. down there and give them a whole look. Get artsy with it. Damn, that does look really good. Let's do a whole side and then we'll we'll take a vote. All right. I'm convinced, but yeah, we'll do that. Actually, let me try one of those Minervas next. Yeah, we should. <laughs> the Minervas, if they went on this, they ain't coming they ain't off coming this. Off, no. <laughs> Get these Quick out of the Oof, that's a good look, dude. That's a look. I usually don't like dark wheels. The gold. Gunmetal and red, it's just a really good combo. I think the rear, see that's the look I'm talking about. The little tuck? I think the, I like the way the rear looks better, how it's tucked like that. Like I like a, a nice flush tuck. So you're you're a fan of the tuck? Oh, I'm a fan of the tuck. Okay. Yeah. I just think it looks clean. Like especially on a big body car. Yeah. If you tuck on a big body car, mm. that's the shit. Mm. But if you got a skinny body car, poke them shits. Yeah, Donnie, come here. Right here, this is... Give me the money shot. This is it. Like, th this is it, right? If I had the B-roll montage, this would be it. At least a smaller space in the front. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not feeling that, that front fitment. Oh, that looks good. I feel like no space is better. Dude, that thing looks so hard. All right, boys, so let me know. What do you think? You all right? I'm always open for whatever, so. Yeah, I think it's great.
You don't really like it, I can tell. No, 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 no. I just gotta love all the stands. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And besides that, hope you guys still like this video, even though it probably wasn't the best video, but we got the lift set up. It was awesome. Big fan. Huge shout out to Ben Pack for helping us get some more chop equipment in here. And uh, well, we made progress once again. So today is a great day. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Donnie, have a great night.